Hey everyone, it's your friend, Mr. Joey. I am so glad to see you today for our March theme here in the clubhouse. Put on your shoes. Yeah, it's time to worship. After our countdown, if you aren't already standing up and singing and dancing to show God just how much we love him, grab a grown up around you and ask them to watch with you today. Everyone is welcome in the clubhouse. In fact, did you know that God sent Jesus to be our friend forever? And everyone can be friends with Jesus. So when I ask who can be friends with Jesus, you say everyone can be friends with Jesus. So who can be friends with Jesus? That's right, everyone can be friends with Jesus. So about our theme, put on your shoes. I have some, some choices of shoes here, and can you tell me what I should wear to dance at a wedding? Sh should I wear these, these hiking boots? No, not these? Oh, well, what about, what about these, these flip-flops? You know, these would be good to dance at a, at a wedding with? Oh yeah, that probably, probably wouldn't be appropriate. Well, what about these super nice dress shoes? Yeah, you know what? I think I'd look pretty good in these, you know, get, getting down on the dance floor. I think these would look really, really good. No slippers at this wedding and yeah, sandals, they're too casual. You wear sandals to the beach, right? Dress shoes are the best thing for a wedding. Well, all month long, you're gonna be hearing true stories about the Bible and they're all about Jesus. Everyone can put on their shoes, get up and be friends with Jesus. So let's go to the clubhouse right now and do the three things we do together every week. First, we'll do our memory verse. Second, we'll sing and we'll dance to our worship songs. And third, we're gonna hear an awesome true story from the Bible. And I'll be back at the end to wrap us up. See you guys in a little bit. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19.
Jesus loves me so, loves me so, loves me so. Jesus loves me so, loves me so, loves me so. Jesus loves me so. Matching hats in here? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Ready to get a job, are you? Oh! Hi, Ollie! All these hats and shoes go with really cool jobs. People do different things. It's true. And God loves each one of them, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished cleaning these fun bunny slippers for my sister. <laughs> She's having the whole family over for a pancake breakfast tomorrow. And we're all wearing our favorite slippers. <laughs> Everyone is coming. My mama, my aunt, my cousin, my nephew, my abuelo. That's my grandpa. 
I mean everyone. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins in a town with lots of people. There were kids playing together, people shopping and friends talking. But look, do you see the man in the middle? That's Matthew. Let's watch and see if anyone is being his friend. Hmm. Do you see anyone? Neither do I. You know, there are lots of people around, but no one is talking to him. That's because Matthew made bad choices that made people very mad, and nobody wanted to be his friend. His job was to collect money from people, but he took more money than he was supposed to. One day, Jesus came to town. Jesus is God's son. He is super special and amazing. He could have talked to anyone in town, but guess who he talked to? Can you guess? <laughs> yes, he talked to Matthew. Jesus went right up to Matthew and said, follow me. Jesus loved Matthew no matter what and wanted to be his friend. Later, Jesus went to have dinner at Matthew's house. Guess who else wanted to have dinner with Jesus? Everyone! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of people who want to spend time with Jesus. Do you want to help serve them food? Hmm. Let's see, we need everyone to get a plate. Let's count how many people we can serve food to. Ready? Go! One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, great job! We served everyone who came to eat with Jesus at Matthew's house. Some people were confused when they saw Jesus eating at Matthew's house. They asked, why would Jesus want to be friends with someone who makes bad choices? because Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. He wants to be friends with me, and you, and you, and you. Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is a friend to everyone, no matter what they do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Matthew made some bad choices, but Jesus still wanted Matthew to follow him and be his friend. Jesus wants everyone to be his friend. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! No matter what shoes or hats you wear, Jesus wants to be your friend. I have so many hats and shoes. I'm going to find a friend to try them on with me. See you next time! Wow, that was incredible. Hey, do you remember who our true story from the Bible was about? Yeah, it was about one of Jesus's closest friends, Matthew. Do you remember that people didn't like Matthew because he had made some bad choices and, and they were really mad about that and nobody really wanted to be his friend. But Jesus and Matthew, they have an amazing origin story. That means the start of their story. One day, Jesus came to town, and remember, Jesus is God's son. 
He is super special and amazing. He could have talked to anyone in town, but can you guess who he talked to? Yes, that's right, he talked to Matthew. Jesus walked right up to Matthew and said, follow me. Jesus loved Matthew no matter what, and he just wanted to be his friend. Now, some people were confused when they saw Jesus eating with these types of people. They asked, why would Jesus want to be friends with someone who makes bad choices? It, it didn't make any sense to them. Well, I'll tell you why. Because Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. He wants to be friends with me and with you and, and with the people behind the camera. He wants to be friends with everybody. Everyone can be friends with Jesus. So, one more time, who can be friends with Jesus? That's right, everyone can be friends with Jesus. All right, friends, let's fold our hands and close our eyes and we're gonna pray to God together. God, we thank you so much that you want everyone to be your friend, that you want everyone to be included in your family. You don't want anyone to be left out or feel alone or isolated, God. We know that you want us in your family and we are so grateful for that. We love you and I thank you for this time that we had together. In your name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so, so much for being with me in the clubhouse today. I had an amazing time and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.